Welcome to the Apex Rack Safety and Repair Video Series. This step-by-step -step video will walk you through the process of properly installing your pallet rack repair kit. Repair kits allow damaged uprights to be repaired on site, quickly and easily, while the rack remains in place, restoring your system with minimal investment and downtime. Before you begin your repair, be sure your team is wearing proper personal protective equipment as outlined in the facility's safety guidelines. Equipment may include safety glasses and footwear, hard hats, and gloves. You will need to offload pallets from the damaged rack bay before starting your repair. If the damaged section is located below the first beam level, remove the floor level pallets on either side of the damaged frame. If the damaged section is located at or above the first beam level, you will also need to remove all pallets on the first level of both bays adjacent to the damaged frame. Check to make sure that you have all the necessary tools to complete the installation and confirm that you have the correct repair kit and hardware needed. Position the hardware so that it is easily accessible. Begin by maneuvering the jack into place at the front of the column. You may need to raise the jack head until the pins fit into the punching on the column. Slide the rear pins through the holes on the back of the jack head. The cut height of the damaged frame should be obtained from the repair kit and transferred to the undamaged frame of the exact type. Once this is done, the damaged frame can be marked for cutting. Next, remove the nut on the front anchor. Then, jack up the column approximately 1 8 to 1 quarter inch, which should be high enough to cut the front anchor. Proceed to cutting the anchor with a sawzall. Cut out the damaged components with a portable bandsaw. Start with the rear strut connections and move your way forward to the front column. Make sure to follow the pre-marked lines on the components to allow for safe installation. Take your time and don't rush through this process. An uneven cut may render the repair kit useless at this location. Pound the remaining anchors into the ground and clean up any debris that might interfere with the base of the repair kit during installation. Slide the repair kit into place and clamp it to the existing column. Keep in mind, the existing column will not yet be resting on the platform of the repair kit. Insert bolts for the front and rear column connections and hand tighten. You may need to use the jack to insert the bolts correctly, depending on how well the slots and existing column punching line up. Lower the jack so that the existing column now rests on the platform of the repair kit. Do not disconnect the jack from the column yet. Tighten all carriage bolt connections using an impact wrench. Be sure to follow a star pattern when tightening the front bolts. Ensure that the base spacing on either side of the kit is correct and make any necessary adjustments before starting to attach struts and anchoring. Slide the diagonal strut connection bracket into place and mark connection points on the repair kit for installation. Drill pilot holes and attach bracket to repair kit, then attach the diagonal strut. Ensure that the repair kit is level and in position to begin anchoring. Note, the repair kit must be completely level to be installed safely. Now you are ready to drill. Drill the anchor holes using an impact drill. Anchors are not installed straight up and down, but at a slight angle due to the bottom horizontal strut on the kit. Ensure that the hole is deep enough to fit as much of the anchor as possible to adhere to the embedment standards. There should be two anchors for the front column, as well as one for the rear. Now, vacuum any residual debris to prevent further dispersion when hammering the anchors into place. Once the area is debris-free, you're ready to hammer the anchors into place. Torque the anchors to spec using an impact wrench. Again, vacuum any remaining debris in order to leave the workspace cleaner than when you found it. Remove the clamp and carefully slide the jack out of position. 
complete the final check that all procedures have been followed and the kit is safely and securely in place. For more information regarding Apex Rack Repair Kits or to request a full system safety audit, call the Apex Rack Repair Team.